Welcome to the DigitalLifestyle.com video show. And this show, we're going to be looking at Tranquil's Windows Home Server. Tranquil are a company based in Manchester, just down the road from my office. So I managed to nip down and pick up one of their Windows Home Servers, which are a really nice, neat device. So this is just a quick video review of the, bo of the box and of the unit, and just to have a quick look at it. And also, while doing this, we could do the Ustream.tv test. So we've got people joining us on the um, on the chat on here now. So. Uh, we're going to have a bit of an interactive session. So if you're watching it via this video, uh, we've done the chat. If you're watching it via that video, the Ustream, we're doing it live now. Uh, so any questions, fire those through on the chat. Let's get on with it first. I said it's not going to take long. Quite a big box, but it's actually a nice, simple product. Now, if you don't know what Windows Home Server is, um, there's some videos on the DigitalLifestyle.com that I've done in the past that shows off some of the features of Windows Home Server. But Windows Home Server is basically um, your backup, remote access and file sharing solution for your network. If you've got more than one PC, um, it's ideal for that. So I use mine for backing up my laptop, tablet PC, my media center PC, and it does everything automatically overnight. It's very simple, there's uh, nothing to do on the box itself. It's a headless unit, well, this one is anyway. And it does things like remote access and um, it also does shared folders, password synchronization, and else. But what we're going to do is look at the hardware first and look what's in this box. Okay. So, this is the Windows Home Server PC from Tranquil. Like I say, it's a um, headless unit, so that is it basically. Now, if you want to compare that size wise, you can see it compared here. To the tablet PC. Um, I've got here my Samsung UMPC. Compare those together, you can see that it really is a small unit and uh, smaller than Xbox. Perhaps give you an idea, there's an Xbox controller, so you can see there that it's, you know, it's not a big, big device and it will go very simply on the uh, anywhere on the network. So let's have a look at this now. I'm going to show off some of these features. So I'm going to show off to the video show uh, viewers now. So this is the home server PC. So it's a nice slick unit. It's actually quite heavy, nice and solid. And if we turn around and look on the back here, there's not a lot of uh, connectors on it. I'm going to show this on the webcam. I don't know how much of that you can you can actually see. So let's have a look at what the, the connector options are on the back of this device. There's no keyboard, mouse or monitor. So this is uh, a device you just plug in through the network on here, plug it straight into your network, then all the configuration is done directly through the PC, through the Windows Home Server console, uh, which we can have a look at. I've only got a, already got a Windows Home Server set up on here but I can show you the, the idea on the console in a moment. This unit is a one terabyte unit and um, one terabyte is going to get you quite a lot of storage on there. When you start getting your media center recorded TV it can be used up quite quickly. So what uh, Windows Home Server has the facility of is to pull disks. So this is the terabyte model. If you stick a USB hard drive on the back it will add it to the, to the pool and then uh, you can it sees it as one storage, so you don't have to mess about with drive letters and things like that. Just plug in on the back here and see there's actually uh, four USB ports on the back and uh, does for plugging the hard disk in. The other thing in you've got here is power uh, for 12 volt and there's a 12 volt adapter in the box, which I'll show you in a minute. Also quite useful on here is a power out for the hard disk, another 12 volt out. So if your um, external hard drive takes 12 volt power supply, you can power it down from here so you're not going to need lots of separate power supplies, you can run it straight from here. Another thing here interestingly is a desk lock so you can lock this down, so it could be used in um, you know, various locations, people are putting these into office locations or whatever, so you can lock this down. And the other thing it's got on here is a power button up on the front, because that's all it does, you don't need to do anything else to it. You just plug it in and connect via the console. 
Uh, other things that have come in the box that are worth looking at. Power supply. Uh, this is the ex an external power supply. Um, so again, that keeps the size of the unit down. Um, but it doesn't mean you've got extra power supply. But I don't really mind these kind of power supplies because it means you can position them where, wherever you want. You notice on this that that's how it seems heavy. It, it really is heavy. It is a very solid unit. And uh, I'm going to power it up in a bit, and you'll hear there's actually no uh, fan noise on this at all. It's completely silent. With is a copy of Windows Home Server. And Windows Home Server actually comes on a couple of discs. You've got the Home, so home Server uh, Restore CD, so that if you have any problems with your, the machine that's, got, that's had the backup, you can actually boot off this disc uh, and then drag the image down and, uh, and restore the machine. So if you're getting, if you install a new hard disk, whatever, because your hard disk has gone, you boot off this, and you pick the computer that it was that um, its previous name. You pick which drive you want restoring, and it just brings it down. And uh, you've got a home server installation DVD. Quite interesting as well. If you need to reinstall Windows for whatever reason, uh, I've done it a couple of times while I've been rebuilding my test machine. The partition, the, the data on is kept separately, so you can actually do a, re a repair installation. You boot up here, you can repair the windows and it keeps all your backups and shared folders. So you've just got to sort out your, your sort of user settings. And there's a, a connector CD as well. This, this connector CD is what you use to actually talk to Windows Home Server and all this intelligence is done on here. That's it in the box, power supply, and that's all you need to get started. So what I'm going to do now is going to, going to plug in the unit, so just to demonstrate how quiet or loud this machine is. Now this is really eerie because we've just powered the machine up, and I can just about hear some hard disk activity, but that's about it. Uh, you can see the power light on the front there, here but there's, it's absolutely silent and it's going to be impossible for me to, to demonstrate how silent this, this is because there's no fans in there. Um, I can vaguely hear the hard disk spinning, but uh, not very much. So if you're looking for a machine that's quiet, uh, this is definitely it. It's, uh, it's silent. Man. I really recommend here that you, the only way I can tell it's on is there's a slight on with the hard disk spinning, but that's about it. So nice and quiet, and certainly you won't be able to hear that with all the noise of that machines that are going off in my room. Now to actually demonstrate uh, Windows Home, so that in best uh, Blue Peter fashion, I've actually connected my machine up to a home server already. Now I don't really want to go into the full demonstration of Windows Home Server unless anybody's got any questions on the tra tray icon. And this is now loading up uh, Windows Home Server. So the console is on here. See so on, on other video shows, you can actually see the console in detail. But on here now, I can browse all the machines connected up to my home server. I can kick off a backup. I can pick an individual file to uh, to take. Uh, I can install the whole thing. I can do my remote access administration, user accounts, shared folders. Final thoughts.